morning and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source of news at someone or a tie. I'm Brooke McGrath. And I'm Brock Plankarte. Today is Friday, January 27th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first today's top story. Today is Holocaust Remembrance Day and its purpose is to honor and remember the events that took place 90 years ago. WSRH Extra reporter Leilani Firetag gives us a closer look through the eyes of a second generation Holocaust survivor. Stories I wish I did not have to tell, but needs to be heard. This past week, Selma Ridge students had the privilege of listening to a second generation Holocaust survivor share his family story. But they are not the only ones who feel lucky to have this opportunity. For it's my privilege, uh, I feel I have a story to tell uh, and a uh, moral to the story uh, is uh, to uh, get rid of hate, bullying that starts somewhere, uh, and, and to just love uh, the people around you. While Mr. Rappaport did not choose for his life to be so intertwined with this awful tragedy, others are choosing to be more involved. I feel honored and grateful. Um, I've met a lot of Holocaust survivors and I now feel this personal responsibility to make sure that our students in Palm Beach County know the names of the camps, know the names of survivors, understand how many people lost their lives for no reason other than hate. For Holocaust teachers like Mr. Gerfers, learning about this event in textbooks just doesn't compare to listening to a survivor in person. But nothing comes close to having a human being who went through it, tell them what they experienced with their own eyes and with their own lives, and it just carries significant more weight when it comes from someone who genuinely went through it. With a generation of Holocaust survivors slowly diminishing, Mr. Rappaport is taking advantage of the knowledge he has to honor his family name. Uh, someone has to carry it on. Uh, I feel I inherited this legacy from my mom and dad. Uh, and uh, I found I was able to do it successfully. And I speak to people like yourselves, to, to kids in school. Uh, it's a good start. And if they can walk away uh, feeling a little bit of what I feel, uh, I've, I've accomplished something. At times, sharing his parents' story can be overwhelming. Whom I never knew and who I learned to love. And although they never got to see him speak, he knows they are supporting him every step of the way. They, they would feel that uh, I'm doing the right thing. Uh, they'd be very proud uh, knowing that they raised a son who is doing something uh, to prevent this kind of attitude uh, from going on in the world. Even to a, a small extent, uh, they'd be quite proud. Mr. Gerfers and other school faculty have stated that they are going to continue to have Holocaust speakers every year so more students can have the opportunity to listen to stories like Mr. Rappaport's. For WSRH Extra, I'm Leilani Firetag. Hey seniors, Grad Bash is April 28th and contracts are now available in the Media Center. Tickets go on sale February 7th and there are only 200 tickets available, so please plan ahead. Price is $150 cash or check. In order to attend, you must be classified as a senior and be graduation ready at time of ticket purchase. Graduation ready means you have at least a cumulative unweighted grade point average of 2.0, at least 20 recorded community service hours, no out-of-school suspensions, and no monetary school obligations at time of ticket purchase. The Hawks dance team is excited to announce that tryouts will be held for the second semester on February 6th, 7th, and 8th after school in the dance room. We want as many good dancers as possible to join the team, but most of all, hip-hop dancers. Want to perform at games, pep rallies, and dance competitions? learn some new moves, and make some new friends, come audition for our award-winning dance team. No previous experience is required. See Ms. Fail in room 3103 or send her an email for more information. Interested in joining First Priority? Their first meeting will be today in room 9103 from 3 to 4 p.m. There will be a guest, pe guest speaker, pizza, and games. Hope to see you there. Are manatees your favorite animal here in Florida's blue waters? WSRH Extra reporter Olivia Evans takes us to Manatee Lagoon to learn more about our fluffy fish. in Riviera Beach, Florida, welcomes families, friends, and manatees, especially when the water gets cooler. Well, I heard because of the cold weather that there was more manatee in the water. Manatees aren't big fans of cold water, so Florida Power and Light has opened Manatee Lagoon in order to warm up the water in this area, while also educating their visitors on important matters. You know, to let people know that they're out there and they're endangered or threatened. Or like Nancy said, 498 manatees died in 2020. The following year, 1,015, 
and in 2022, an additional 800 died. These rapid death rates are due to a variety of factors caused by humans, such as illegal fishing, boat propellers, or habitat loss. We're always actively involved in conservation, aren't we? Mommy, um, and we don't drop the water. Visitors and manatees alike are appreciative of FPL support for the sea cows. I just think they're beautiful animals. And, you know, pe more people should know about them, and it's nice that, that the power plants have, have done this. Manatee Lagoon continues to put their best spin forward by educating the public and protecting the gentle giants of the sea, manatees. For WS Rage Extra, I'm Olivia Evans. Interested in playing boys volleyball? Tryouts will begin February 13th in the gym. You must have your Activate completed in order to participate. If you have any questions, please see Coach Barnwell. If you're interested in playing flag football this season, please meet at Portable One Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 4 p.m. until tryouts. To be able to participate, you must have your Activate completed. Congratulations to this week's Hawks of the Week. For ninth grade, Nathan Jean Mary, nominated by Miss Nicho. Nervanesca Pierre, nominated by Mr. Lane, Lamar Wise, nominated by Mrs. Koslick, and 12th grade Anahi Delgado, nominated by Mrs. Morris. Students were nominated based on academic improvement or their efforts on making our campus better by doing things like helping others, volunteering their time, or simply picking up trash. Coming up on WSRH News, weather and birthdays. Plus, sports. Hey Brooke, why did the weather want privacy? Why Brooke? Because it was changing. Let's go to WSRH meteorologist Riley Phillips with today's forecast. Good morning Hawks, and for today's forecast we have a high of 67 and a low of 56 cloudy skies. And for our three day forecast this week on Saturday we have a high of 75 and a low of 59 cloudy skies. For on Sunday we have a high of 81 and a low of 64 mostly cloudy skies. And on Sunday, we have a high of 84 and a low of 64 sunny skies. For WSRH Weather, I'm Riley Phillips. We have a happy birthday going out to Sydney Belk, Kristen Esty, Jan Luis Laura, Jaden Loudon. Happy birthday, Hawks. WSRH Sports anchor Adrian Murray joins us now at the sports desk. Hawks, welcome to WSRH Sports. I'm Adrian Murray, and I have a lot to fill you in on, so let's get right into it. Our boys soccer team has a district semifinal against West Boca at Dwyer today at 5 p.m. WSRH news reporter Carlos Suarez has highlights from their district game. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, we have boys soccer district semifinal against West Boca at Dwyer beginning at 5 p.m. Boys basketball team will have their senior night here at the Ridge against Pahokee, 6 p.m. JV and 7.30 varsity. Boys and girls wrestling tri-county tournament at Olympic Heights, 11 a.m. weigh-ins and 1 p.m. wrestling. And on Saturday, boys and girls wrestling tri-county tournament also at Olympic Heights, 9 a.m. weigh-ins and 11 a.m. wrestling. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Adrian Murray. That's it for WSRH News. I'm Brock Plinkartang. And I'm Brooke McGrath. Remember that you can follow us on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Summoner Ridge TV. Have a great day, Hawks.